Howdy, I'm Terry Knight, and most of the time when I'm sitting in front of this camera is toward the end of speaking to the audience of New Life Telecast, which is a weekly program coming forth from New Life Community Church of Ridgeway, Virginia, where I've served as pastor now for some 22 years. But this time, I'm here for another very special reason. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, May 1st, 2nd, 3rd of 2019, I was privileged to fulfill a long-time wish for me, it was the first time to travel to Lincolnton, Georgia, the home place of the legendary Lewis family and the location of what is now the annual Little Roy and Lizzie Music Festival. Here's the key part. With special permission, I was granted the opportunity to shadow one of the most special people in my world. I refer to him as my banjo hero, none other than Little Roy Lewis. What you will be hearing is a unique experience that was captured live during the 7th Annual Little Roy and Lizzie Music Festival. These scenes are purposefully unedited in terms of sound effects. I know there are others like myself that would love to spend a day or so actually realizing what it would be like to walk around behind the scenes, behind the scenes, mind you, with one of the most unique entertainers to ever grace the stage. You will not view any out front images during this experience. Rather, I want the viewer to experience what it was like to see and observe Little Roy from off stage completely away from the limelight. Please don't get uptight about the quality of the audio. I purposely opened the mic so the viewer could get the feeling of being there. Yes, there's a lot of background noise. I'm very much aware of that. In some respects, it drives me crazy. But there, there's a lot of interruptions, and there's even the drone of other entertainers' bus engines that will be heard. There's also a few surprise appearances. I'll attempt to emphasize these by way of a lower third title bar. I trust you'll enjoy these candid scenes ever as much as I enjoyed capturing them for you. Blessings.
Are you going to do anything today? I always do so. <laughs> we are cousins. <laughs> we are DNA cousins. <laughs> and last week, Lizzie was just acting horrible. I'm talking about, she was just terrible. So um, most of you know I'm a pastor, so I was lecturing her, telling her how she ought to behave. You know what she had the audacity to say? Well, you and little Roy raised me, and I said, read, and I act the way I act. <laughs> Oh, 
Radio shows. We look forward to all the other shows. Be sure and visit with Little Roy and Lizzie and all the band. Get to know them. Get the recordings. All the goodies they brought along. The guitar giveaway they have. And knives. You name it. They've got it over there. Well, we went to that first trip that we did, I think, was Columbus, Ohio, where our front end lady went to uh, Kilgore, Texas, and we did. That's the first trip in LA. I believe the last one. Okay. On the next to last phase, we took in a blue dress, but we like to say we're dressing these old cotton. It was one of the last ones that y'all were Gibson. You know, you made yeah, you made me one and made Lizzie one, yeah, you and you made him one. Yeah. And you said that your son helped yeah. 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 him. Yeah, I gotta go. One, two, one, two, check. One, two, I think a little bit more on my check. One, two. One, two, check. One, two. One, two, check. How long have you guys been married? Uh, this June, it will be 33 years. 33. What's it like living with this guy? Uh, I don't know. I can't say that in a very short period of time. <laughs> what did Our you... lifestyle's a little different than yeah. everybody else's. Oh, I'm sure. What did you do for a living? I worked. I was in the banking business and worked for a data processing company where we wrote, wrote and supported software for banks all over the country. Now, did you retire from there? I did. How long ago? Uh, nine years ago. Okay, how do you like retirement? Well, I'm doing all their booking and business, so I'm not retired. So it's a different kind of the difference. Well, the difference is the money. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, Little Roy, how long have you been playing the banjo? It all started, I started playing banjo. The first time I put my hands on a banjo when I was six years old. And uh, that banjo is now, uh, it's an old banjo, and uh, it, you know, it's a full string. And, um, it's in the Hall of Fame up at Dollywood. Okay. And uh, I started when I was six. But really, I didn't really get going until I heard Earl Scruggs. I'm eating this one. I heard Earl Scruggs on the radio, radio, 1948. It just set me on fire. And uh, we bought our, Mama and them bought tickets to see Bill Monroe. That's when Lester and Earl was with them bought us tickets to Washington, Georgia to see him. And when they come out on the stage, it wasn't Flatten Scruggs. They just had left Bill and it was Don Reno. And 
uh, it was Don Reno and Chubby Wise and Mac Wiseman. And <clears throat> so I fell in love with Don Reno as banjo picking too. Then the next time I saw Bill in 1951, he had a new banjo picker, Rudy Lyle, one of the best banjo pickers in the world. So I got to see all three of them. And that's where it all comes from, from me wanting to play. It's because of Don Reno Rose Cruz, really. What's your favorite part about all of this right now, as far as the, the play in the venues? What's your favorite thing, favorite part? Now? You're talking about here at our festival? At this festival or wherever you go, what's your favorite part about the whole scene? The favorite part of mine is to go out and meet new and old friends. Sometimes uh, people come up to me and they have a picture. They'll be, they'll be 50 years old, 55, and they'll want me to sign an old Polaroid picture. And I'm holding a baby, and usually that baby is them. Yeah. And there they are, 50 years old. And so um, to me, it's just like Pop used to say, he, he loved people. And that's where I get it all from. I get most of that. I get most of everything I do from Pop because mm -hmm. he was a go-getter like I was. And uh, but he didn't have to worry about anything like driving the bus or washing the bus. He just kept us all in line, and we had him a long time. He died at 98 years old, and in fact, he was plowing the tractor at uh, 95. It's amazing. All righty then. What? Uh What's the future look like for you? You gonna do this forever? I hope I never have to. I hope I never have to uh, put the banjo down because I love music. It seems like I'm going pretty good. I'm 77, and uh, I hope I can go along this pop. And I, I know I probably will. Well, praise the Lord. I hope so. Give me some. <laughs>
when I picked it up, I, a genie appeared. He said, you are really lucky. You are, this is better than a lottery. I said, uh, uh, Jenny, uh, what you got in store? He said, I give you two wishes. I said, okay. I said, okay, I'll tell you what I want to do. I, I never have been to Hawaii, and, uh, and, and I, want, I want you to, I want you to, uh, I don't ride a boat, and I don't fly an airplane, and I want you to make me a, a road all the way to Hawaii. He said, good golly, what a thing. He said, he said, uh, uh, what, 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 I, I, is it any, let me give you a second wish. He, he said, uh, 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 I don't forgot the joke. <laughs> I'll try that in the bar. <laughs> Boy, that's a first. And he said, and I don't know what he said. 